Hi guys, Tiffany here with a cosplay tutorial for how I made the breastplate for my Alice cosplay from the anime Sword Art Online Alizization. And if you'd like to use the 2D pattern that I used to make this breastplate, it is available on my website www.tiffanygordoncosplay.com or see the link in the description. To first start off, I traced every single piece of the pattern onto 4mm EVA film and then cut each piece out with an X-Acto knife. After that was done, I then used a heat gun to heat treat both sides of all of the EVA foam pieces. Next, we're going to be attaching all of the trim to all of the pieces for this pattern, but we're going to wait to attach the arm circle pieces, which are the two left and right pieces that attach to letters B and C for this pattern. Tracing where they were going to attach onto the base EVA foam and applying contact cement glue to both pieces, letting them fully dry before attaching the two pieces together. The next step for all of these trim is to go to your workbench and grab your sanding drum and sand everything flat, and then you're going to round all of the edges ever so slightly. Now that all of the trim is taken care of, let's go ahead and work on letters B and C. And for these pieces, these are the main parts of the breastplate, and they have a very harsh crease down the center. So that way it kind of looks like a four quadrant uh, piece of a breastplate. It's really weird, but it makes sense if you're looking at the actual character from the show. And to do this, on letters B and C in the very center on the back, I use an X-Acto knife, cutting down the center at a slight 45, making sure not to pierce all the way through the foam. After that, you'll remove this piece and this is gonna make it so that way your piece can have a nice crease without having to have two sections of foam attached together. And when that was done, I went back to the workbench and on the back side of letters B and C, where they connect together, sanded at a 45. This will be where the front side is slightly longer than the back side with your angle. Next, you're gonna want to apply contact cement glue to this now 45 degree angle that you sanded on parts B and C, wait for them to fully dry, and then attach them together. And a trick for attaching the two pieces together, use the surface of the table with your pieces facing towards the table, starting in the center and then slowly working your way out to both the ends towards where your arms will go. Now to finish attaching our last trim pieces. These are gonna be the pieces, the left and right, that attach to letters B and C for your arm section. Again, applying contact cement glue, letting it dry, and then attaching it after. Now that that's attached, you can attach letter C to the top half of letter B, and it should be indicated on the pattern where C should align on the top of B. And now that that's done, you can go back and sand all of those now trimmed pieces flat and round them with your sanding drum. The next step will be attaching the collar to the breastplate, which is letter A attaching to letter C. And to do this, you're going to want to sand letters C and A at a 45, this time with your angle being shorter on the top surface. And next, you will attach together with contact cement glue once again. The next piece we're gonna talk about is letter D. You will want to repeat all the same steps as before, attaching the trim and then rounding all of your edges. But with this piece, there are a few little details. And for these, I ended up cutting them out of two millimeter EVA foam and then attaching them in the very center. And this will also hide your seam for attaching D to itself. For the alignment of where D is going to attach on letter B, it's really gonna be up to you, depending on how much neck room you will need while wearing the breastplate. And once you figure out where you want it, then trace the outer shape of the letter D, and then apply contact cement glue to both the pieces and let them fully dry before attaching them together. And I would recommend starting by attaching it in the very center and then working your way towards the ends. At this point, all of your base EVA foam work should be done, including letters F and E. And for E, I did end up using two millimeter where it is the black EVA foam and then four millimeter for the cross, which is the gray EVA foam. Side note, parts E and F also will be attached at a later point. Now to prime our pieces. For this, I did three even coats onto both the inside and the outside part of all of the breastplate pieces using Plasti Dip. And now for my favorite part of costly builds, 
painting. And as always, we're gonna be using Createx Color's Wicked Color Airbrush Paint line. And to start off, we're gonna be using Wicked Pearl Blue, painting this onto the neck piece, as well as for the background parts of the cross. I then went in with a tiny bit of shading around all of the edges, using a mix of the Wicked Pearl Brew, as well as the Wicked Jet Black paint. And once all of the blue paint was fully dry, I then masked it off with masking tape, followed by a little bit of black paint where the blue paint had some overspray. Now for all of the trim pieces, as well as the cross section and all of the detail cross pieces on the neck. And for this, I used a mix of the Wicked Gold Chrome, as well as the Wicked Opaque P-Roll Orange. And here's what it looks like so far. And once all of the trim paint was dry, I then did a base coat of the Opaque Jet Black airbrush paint onto the entire piece. And when that was dry, did two coats of the Wicked Gold Chrome. And when all of that paint was dry, I then could remove all of the masking tape. The next step is detail painting. And for this, I used by hand with a paintbrush, the Wicked Opaque Jet Black going around all of the edges. This is also going to help really bring the anime-like style to life for your breastplate. I also did this for the cross pieces and you can see the before and after here. Now to seal all of our painted pieces. And for this, we used Createx Colors UVLS Clear Satin, applying a thin coat by paintbrush onto all of the surface of our painted areas. And now we're finally going to attach letter F to the rest of the breastplate. And this is gonna be a little bit different because we're only going to do a slight tack on the very back. The reason being is I want these two sections to move with my body. So that way I do not get any cracks from bending at the waist. And for this, what you're gonna wanna do is kind of figure out where you want them to align together and then tape them in place. You'll wanna have enough of the letter F piece behind all of the breastplate that when you bend backwards that you'll still not have it showing and separating so probably a good like inch or two when i got all of it figured out i then went back with scissors and trimmed off of the extra eva foam on the back you'll next apply a little bit of contact cement glue to the top half of letter f in the very corner as well as the bottom half under letter c on the bottom side and when the glue is dry attach them together this will be a slight tack piece, so you will have to be careful not to fully bend the pieces so they will rip apart. And you can see here how the bending movement will work. Now for adding our zipper. For this, we're gonna be using a jacket zipper where the zipper will fully come apart into two separate pieces once you unzip it. And my little trick for attaching is actually sewing your zipper onto two millimeter EVA foam. And for this, I ended up cutting two strips of the two mil foam, cutting it the length of your zipper, pinning it in place, and then taking it to your sewing machine and sewing it. And I used a zigzag stitch to adhere the zipper to the foam. And for attaching this zipper to the breastplate part, you're gonna wanna apply the contact cement glue to the top half of your zipper, making sure your zipper part is actually facing up towards you, as well as to the inside part of your breastplate. And when your glue is dry, you can then attach the two pieces together. I recommend starting on one end and slowly working your way down the back of the breastplate. Now to do a quick little check to make sure the zipper will easily slide up and down and then your zipper is attached to your breastplate and it should look like this. Now for the crosses. For these pieces, I ended up getting a white ribbon that had two wires on either side. This will kind of help to keep the shape that you want. And next, drew on the design at the bottom with a Sharpie and cut them. And the ribbon fabric actually frayed quite a bit, so I ended up adding some fray check to all of the ends, and this is gonna help lock it in place and no longer come apart. And for attaching the ribbon to the cross piece, I ended up folding the top half because it is wire, it'll stay in its shape, and then applying contact cement glue to the actual ribbon as well as to the back half of the cross, letting them dry and then attaching them together. And they should look something like this. And the very last step is attaching these pieces to the breastplate. And same thing, contact cement glue. 
And the placement for these two pieces are gonna be right under your neck piece. So I'd recommend tracing it kind of where you want it to go. So that way it'll give you an indication of where to put your glue, let the glue fully dry and then attach them together. And congratulations, your breastplate is now finished for your Alice cosplay. Thank you guys so much for watching this cosplay tutorial for the breastplate for Alice from the anime Sword Art Online Alizization. And if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Also, a big thank you to my supporters on Patreon who helped funded this cosplay tutorial. Go check it out for awesome more early access blueprints and tutorials on there. And I will see you for my next cosplay tutorial. Much love, guys. Mwah.